the best air fryer chicken sandwich you'll ever have. So we're going to start off with some buffalo sauce, some salt, pepper, garlic, and one spoon of flour, an egg, some chicken thighs, and then in those breadcrumbs I put some olive oil, I mix it together, and why I'm doing that is because when I put it in the microwave it starts to toast the breadcrumbs and it gives it a lot of nice flavor. So let's do that now. From there, I'm gonna start making mixing the egg, the salt, pepper, garlic, and flour. And the buffalo sauce. And why I'm doing this instead of doing it the traditional way is it's faster for one and it gives it the flavor and the texture that you need to have a good crispy chicken sandwich. So we just mix this together. After we mix the breadcrumbs after it came out of the microwave. So I'm mixing this together until it's all combined. Sorry, I tried to put in fast motion and this is the fast that it will be. <laughs> and sorry about the noise in the background, my kids are playing while I'm doing this voiceover. So I think I'm <laughs> really thorough when it comes to this. But I take the chicken thighs and I marinate this meat. I make sure to get into every groove. I make sure to pick up some of the egg mixture and place it everywhere to make sure that it's thoroughly coated. And once I'm done doing that, actually I do this a couple times, flip it back and forth, because I want to make sure that this meat is marinated in that egg mixture. I'm telling you, this chicken sandwich is a lot more healthier than a fried one. And I feel that it's better than any other one that I've ever eaten. But that's my opinion, so you make your own opinion. So I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm trying to get into every crevice with this, these breadcrumbs. Make sure that it's thoroughly coated. I'm not doing a double dip or anything. I'm just doing the once with the egg and once with the breadcrumbs. And I did it with the second one. And I'm going to be putting it in the air fryer really soon. So being that it's in the air fryer, I don't spray the bottom of the basket or anything. I just put it at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. I don't turn it or anything. I just put it in there and I let it do its thing. And I don't have any problems ever with this and they come out perfect mostly every time. So I'm gonna check the temperature on these. Um, I really think that 12 minutes is the perfect time but every air fryer is different so on this bread I put mayonnaise on both sides and on one side I put buffalo buffalo sauce and then I put lettuce and pickled jalapenos then the the chicken and then I put it together and here is one of the greatest chicken sandwiches that you'll ever make in the air fryer bon appetit